the lighthouse. His integrity, his politeness, his decency, his tremendous leadership, his willingness to forgive people and understand people, the dynamic strength and courage and boldness that he had. So Lord, we don't only take this morning star premises, this building which is made with, with bricks as legacy or heritage or inheritance, but Lord, his very life that lives in us. Lord, those wonderful songs, they were forged in the fire of the Holy Spirit. They will burn within a soul. Lord, nations, the South Asian congregations across the globe will continue to sing those melodies. Father, we thank you for that awesome life. Lord, as your great servant, Charles Spurgeon said, the legacy is left in two ways. The legacy is left with people and in people. We are not only proud of the legacy left with us, but we are more proud for the legacy left in us. We sing those songs, Lord, that glorious music, and many of us have been tremendously blessed, impacted, and drawn closer to Jesus. Father, as your servant has his desire, that his wife should be ordained to serve this congregation. So today, Father, being your servant, hallelujah, we come together for the fulfillment of that great desire that mighty general in the army of the Lord had. Hallelujah, earnest Lord. So Lord, today, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come together. May all the elders of the church, all the deacons, to come with us, join us. The deacons, all the deacons, please come.